back to another video. So usually I say I'm excited to do a video, but this time I really mean I am excited to do this video because there is nothing more that I love in this world. I mean, other than Todinho. Todinho? Todi, Todinho? Dan, cheese bread. I love... Pão de queijo. Pão de queijo. <laughs> So I figured, why not try and make it myself? I'm also starting to get hungry, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. But yeah, so you guys are gonna watch me try and make this. Hopefully I don't completely fail at it and it at least tastes good enough that I can eat it. I give this video a like for support. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment of any video suggestions you'd like to see from us in the future and let's start this. I'm gonna be following a video on YouTube for directions because Marcio's not here, he's at work. Okay, so I've got all of my ingredients here. I've got tapioca starch. I've got some eggs that I already cracked. I've got whole milk, uh, vegetable oil, salt, and mozzarella cheese and parmesan cheese so what he does in the video is he separates everything into small bowls and then he puts i think some of the more like he puts the dry things in with the dry and then the wet things in with the wet so what i'm gonna do is separate these all out into different bowls and then mix them together and i've already got the oven on he said for 325 degrees fahrenheit or 160 degree, 163 degrees Celsius. So hopefully I don't make a huge mess. This is weird. This is almost like, this almost kind of looks like baking soda. Okay, so five cups of tapioca starch. Okay, so we've got our tapioca starch done. Next, eggs. I've already got two eggs in a bowl right here. And then two cups of whole milk. Okay, now that's done. So we've got now our two cups of milk, and then we'll need half a cup of vegetable oil, but I'm not gonna put that in a bowl. One cup of Parmesan cheese. <gasps> My Todinho. Perfect, I just love these. Okay, that's good. I don't know why I got such a big bag because I don't need this much. So I'm gonna get all this cleaned up except for the ingredients that I'm gonna be using and then I will be right back. But as the video I've been following for directions said, I have the milk and vegetable oil mixed together and they are boiling right now, I guess heating up. And then I'm going to be mixing the tapioca starch in with the eggs and the salt. So I'm gonna take all of this. Ooh. That was pretty good. I didn't make a huge mess. Okay, and then I'm going to put in the eggs. then the salt. So he says to do two tablespoons of salt if you like your salty or one tablespoon if you don't like it salty. So maybe I'll do like one and a half. <laughs> 
but I only have a teaspoon, so three teaspoons is one tablespoon, so I'm gonna be doing like four of these, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know like how much salt is good for cheese bread. If you guys have any suggestions that are different from what I'm doing now, let me know down in the comment section because I'm sure this probably won't be the first and last time I ever make cheese bread. So depending on how these turn out, I may want to like change the recipe a little bit. So if you guys use different ingredients and you think that it's better than what I'm using now, then let me know down in the comment section. I would appreciate any help. I'm trying to learn here. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna check on the milk situation over there. I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna come back to you guys. Okay, <laughs> that did not work well. <gasps> There's flour everywhere. Okay, whatever, we're moving on. He has one of those big mixing bowls. This one's too flat, I think. That's why I have everywhere. <gasps> okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can do it, I can do it. Okay, so I've put the, the milk and the vegetable oil in. I guess the last step is to add the cheese, so I'm gonna mix in the cheese and then we're gonna put it on a pan and then we're gonna bake it. So excited. Can't wait to see how this ends up being. <sighs> this doesn't look good. <laughs> this doesn't look right. Oh no, what do I do? What do I do? I didn't think about, I didn't think about what I would do if, it's really runny. It's, I don't think it's supposed to be this runny. I don't think I could even make little cheese balls out of this. <laughs> what do I do? I don't know why I thought this was gonna be easy. It's not easy. Maybe I just need to mix it more. Okay, maybe I need to add more tapioca. I'm gonna keep mixing. <laughs> I'm gonna keep mixing it and hopefully it'll get more to like the, like his looks a little bit like sticky so that you're, it's easier to put into little balls, but. <sighs> I was really excited. I thought I was gonna do well with this. So. I don't, oh, I feel like it's a little better. I think I'm gonna need to add a little bit more flour because otherwise it's not gonna be sticky enough that I can make like little balls. I think it's just gonna like run all over the place. So that's what I'm gonna do. Add a little bit more of this and hopefully this will help make it. He said to do five cups, but he said you can do a little or a little or more, depending. So, okay, I'm gonna mix this in before I, <laughs> I don't want it to, <laughs> I don't want it to blow all over me again. Okay, I'm back. So I've got my pan, it's all oiled up. And I think the consistency of these is a little bit better now. Um, I think I'll actually be able to like make these into little balls, hopefully. They don't completely run and fall apart, but we'll see. So I'm gonna use two spoons. That's how he did it. He like scooped it up. <laughs> he scooped it up and then pushed it out onto the pan. How big do you make it? Oh, you guys, I'm so sad about this. I feel like these are not gonna turn out very good. Oh, it's actually staying. <gasps> it's staying. I don't know how long it will stay, but we'll see. They smell like cheese bread. <laughs> I guess that's a good sign. Hopefully that means they'll also taste like cheese bread. 
All right, so I've got my cheese bread on the pan. Hopefully you guys can see it. I don't wanna lift it up because they're a little runny. I hope that they like rise when they go in the oven because they look really flat right now. But anyways, I'm gonna put these in the oven and hopefully these end up looking like cheese bread when it's done. It does smell like it. It does smell like it. So I'm hoping that they like puff up a little bit and they end up being good. So we'll see. I'm gonna check back in with you guys after these have been in the oven. I think he said for 30 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we'll see how they turn out. So here's a little update guys. Sorry if the camera is shaking, I'm holding it with my hand, but they're not looking great. <laughs> I don't know why they're so flat. I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, you guys, not even like two minutes later, and they're rising. Well, like this little guy, he looks pretty good. The other ones are still really flat, but <laughs> that one's looking a little bit better. Yay, I'm excited. Hi everyone, so I'm back for my final update. <laughs> so they don't look terrible for my first time, but they are a little um, flat for some reason. <laughs> I think it's because for whatever reason, like the consistency of mine was kind of runny. When I put the dough on the pan, it flattened out. It raised a little bit, but not much. But let's try them out and see how they taste. Ooh. Wonder if we can get it. There we go. Not bad. I feel like that's not bad. You know what, the flavor is pretty good. I feel like I'm gonna do another batch and I'm not gonna cook them for as long because these feel a little like, I like when they're a little bit more like gooey, like mo more, a little bit more gooey, like more doughy um, and like softer as opposed to like, these are kind of dry, but overall the flavor isn't bad. And I also feel like if I can find a way to make them not so flat, <laughs> that they probably also taste a little bit better. But to be honest, for my first time, I don't think that they're that bad. They're just really flat. So anyways, let me know how you guys think I did down in the comments. And also, if you have any advice, like as you're watching this, if you saw I was doing something wrong, if I should have added less of this ingredient, more of this ingredient, or a whole like different ingredient that I didn't use, let me know how you guys make cheese bread. And I'd like to try again, because this is probably not gonna be my last time making it. So I'd like to try, you know, new recipes and see if I can improve on this. And yeah, I guess that's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a like, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. It's on this side. Ciao. Beijo. Abraço. Amor. Bye.